Okay, I was playing with that light and I got it set in the right position. It's at 3.22 volts right now. Now I get a chance to see or show you what this thing is doing. Okay, I didn't know if I would be able to actually make it stay at 3 volts. Now this is on the reverse circuit when it's in park. But the brake lights are on because the brakes is, is pressed down. That's what it believes. So, okay, I set, I set that light in this position, okay? Actually, the brake light is kind of dim, so I guess that's what caused it. But anyway, I set it in this position. Our brake lights are on. Now I'm going to get a chance to let you see something. It's in park. Let me see. But this has to be... Let me see. Yeah, it's still saying 3.2 volts. That's showing on the reverse circuit, but I'm in park. So, let's go back. Yeah. I'm going to start this up now. And then you get a chance to see what happened. Where the key? Okay, it's in park. Reverse. See that? Now I'm in drive and still showing reverse. Okay, so I'm in neutral. I mean, see that's neutral down there, but the indicator shows reverse because that tail light is putting voltage on the reverse circuit okay so let me go down to drive let's drive and it should show drive but it shows nothing okay now what would happen if I was to get off of the brakes then it would show what it's supposed to show Okay, as long as if I took the brake circuit out, it would show the right gear. So, remember, let me see if I could do that. It's hard to do it because I had to reach down here. <clears throat> ah, hard to get down there. Let me see here. Remember, I got my foot on the brake. Where are you? Where are you? Brake circuit. Woo. Got you. Now, I'm going to turn the brakes off. You see? Uh oh, you didn't see. Turn the brake off. Uh oh. See drive, come on. I take, put the brake back on. Drive goes off. Turn the brake light off. By pressing, uh, taking my foot off the brake, it's in drive. And you see the drive light come on. Put my foot back on the brake. The drive light goes off. Okay, so the computer thinks that I am still in reverse, although the gear selector is in drive right there. Okay, now I'm going to go to neutral, and you'll see that it's not showing neutral. I'm going to go. To reverse and it's going to show reverse when I go to park it's going to stay in reverse okay, I'm in park now right here this is park I'm right here I'm a back and it's showing is in reverse now, I'm gonna stay in park and, and there's a harsh engagement too now I'm going the reason it's doing this again because Sean, look at it. It went to four volts. So, 
3.99 on the reverse circuit, even though I'm not in reverse. Okay, now, I was trying to simulate the problem. I finally got a chance to do so by setting that tail light in a certain position. And now you get a chance to see how this tail light affects the transmission. With these, um, I want to see. I really want to say what I want to say with the stupid engineers handled it this way. Make us have to go through all these puzzles. That's what I really want to say. But, okay, there's the rain sensor right there. Point nine volts, four volts is shown on a reverse circuit while I'm in park. Okay, so again, the computer sees this. They got it. They got it. So, profitable call. If you have a transmission range sensor code on this vehicle, which is a 2005 Tucson. With a 2.7 liter engine, you can have a bad tail light. So let's fix this thing. We already know what it is. <laughs>